Leo, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Leo placement that resonates with you, there may be messages that will also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will all be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Jumping right in for Leo, what do we else? What else do we have for Leo? You do have one card out here. Messages for Leo's greatest and highest good. Gotta blow up. First card out is the five of wands. The nine of wands. Lots of wands. Ace of wands. The page of pentacles. The knight of pentacles. And the six of cups. Very interesting. Very interesting. Straight to the point, Leo. Lots of fire here. Also, some Earth could be important, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Could have that in your chart, be dealing with someone with that energy. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords, Air Sign Energy. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius could be important to you. Clarity. Clarity. Things are about to become extremely clear. There's probably a situation right now that you are wrestling with. Your first card out was the Five of Wands. So it's either you or someone else that you were connected to energetically. There's been some wrestling, whether that's internally, whether that's within the situation between you and someone else, competition energy, right? Uh, drama. It is a card of, of change, though, it being a five. Looks like you're going to be moving on to bigger and better things or new things, at least with this Page of Pentacles here. For some of you, if this is dating, it's like people are vying for your attention. You may have a lot of admirers. The Page of Pentacles, the way he's looking at that pentacle, very... You know, a lot of admiration for that pentacle, but there's potential in something. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles representing some sort of potential, a new potential. Could be in work, too. A lot of you guys might be competing for a specific position at work. Something that's going to increase your finances. But there is competition. There is competition or some sort of wrestling. It could be internal for some of you. Your present position is the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, there's a situation outside of you that people around you might be sort of bickering, fighting, arguing, competing, and you're very much focused elsewhere. Because the vibe that I'm getting here with these two, it's like he's on the outside looking in because he's 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 had his he's had his turn. The wounded warrior here with the nine of wands. This could be you. This could be someone else. It's like he's on the outside. He's already done his fair share of fighting. He's not about to get involved. He's more so watching everyone else sort of crawl their way out of the bucket, right? Because he's he's sitting this one out. He's not involved. Nine of wands is someone that's been through a lot of shit. They have been through a lot. Also could be a sense of needing to recover. You're, you know you don't have an, that fight left in you right now. Where you're picking and choosing your battles. That's what it is. Picking and choosing your battle so that if there's conflict around you, you're not getting involved. You're not getting involved. You're very much focused on something new here. Or this could be someone else, as I said. And there's a sense of uh, progression here, a sense of maturing too. There could be someone that you are dealing with that is absolutely matured. Maybe they were a bit sort of naive in the beginning and now they're sort of growing into a more stable person. Someone that is learning to pick and choose their battles. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, very methodical moving energy. Someone that doesn't just jump into things. They like to be very, they only make calculated risks. They only take calculated risks. Whereas the page might be more likely to just kind of go with the flow, right? Or just, if it looks, it's shiny. But there's a sense of maturing that is happening here, that has happened here for someone. Your future energy is beautiful. We have the Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups. So there is some sort of new beginning here, some sort of new passion. And I think it's because you decided to mind your own business. For some of you, this is some sort of love, some sort of connection that you are going to be coming into. Someone that you feel is very familiar to you, whether you know them or not. The sense of fami familiarity will be there. It'll be very exciting, very passionate. Could be very sexual for some of you as well. Soulmate energy, very pure, childlike. Someone you can let your guard down around. And I do see someone that is absolutely guarded here. So, 
couple storylines. Some of you are dating multiple people or you're sort of looking at the dating pool like you don't want to be involved. You don't want to get, you know, you don't want to be a part of it. This could also represent like dating, dating, you know. And you're deciding to sort of take a slow, methodical approach. You're not willing to rush anything. But I do think there's something new, someone new that is going to be coming into your existence here. Also, lots of child energy. Some of you could have children. Could also be spending more time with your kids, the things that matter. Taking your time to sort of find the right one. But it does look like the right one is kind of it's going to be very clear as well. It could be an air sign. Yeah. Someone that you're absolutely going absolutely gonna to feel the need to, to take a chance on. Also could be some sort of communication or conversation with this uh, Knight of Swords. But someone that you are going to be inclined to take a chance on, suddenly this is going to hit you out of nowhere. This is not something you are expecting. Scorpio energy with the Tower card there. Yeah. You've been waiting for a while for something solid. Here it is. Here it is, Leo. There's that page of pentacles growing, becoming a major, a, a, a massive pentacle. There is absolutely some sort of growth here, some sort of maturing. And I like how we're going down and, you know, we're, we're getting rid of all the wands. We have five of wands, nine of wands, all the way down to the ace. So any sort of baggage that we have been carrying, leaving it behind, any sort of people, places, things that are sort of cause any sort of conflict or is in sort of conflict in their own life we're definitely keeping our distance we're keeping our distance and that is going to enable us to keep space for all this beautiful new energy but i do think there's something coming for you if this is work you are definitely going to beat the competition it's like the fact that you're sort of minding your own business and not getting involved in the politics it's like your work your your uh, employer is like yeah it's very clear who we need to pick it's very clear who we need to pick. It's very clear who we need to take a chance on. Here's the offer. Here's the opportunity. Here's the promotion. Suddenly. And you didn't even mean to do it like this. You were just genuinely tired. You're just genuinely tired. And you've been just sort of taking a leisure approach while everyone else was sort of kind of clawing their eyes out. Clawing each other's eyes out. What do we have for Leo guidance for Leo, please? A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Virgo energy could be important for you. So this is for those of you that have absolutely sort of not been involving yourself. It's kind of saying it's time to be involved. There's going to be something that it might be in your best interest to allow yourself to get involved in. You've been keeping your distance. You've been sort of, you know, and I think now is the time to sort of, there's, there's going to be something that is being advised here. Obviously, it's your life. You do what you want with it. It's sort of like it would be in your best interest. You're going to feel inclined. You're going to feel drawn to kind of come out of this um, protective stance that you've been in. Because I do see a connection here that is very pure, very genuine. Kind of cracks you open a little bit. Or it's funny because this is this is this is my I got one last F to give card, and this is the one last F that you're going to be giving. This is the one last F. You found something worth giving your last F to. <laughs> okay. Guidance for Leo, please. What do you have for Leo? This is for April, by the way, if I didn't say that. But, you know, time is elusive. Today, tomorrow, tomato, tomato. What do we have for Leo, please? One card for Leo. Guidance for Leo. You. your wildest dreams deserve a chance so this is the chance that we're going to be taking because it very much seems like whatever this is it's 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 pretty damn close to your wildest dream it's very much something i think that you have been um you know like something you've been holding out hope for what do we have for leo Thank you. Otter spirit, you are never alone. So we basically had the six of cups twice here. For those of you, this is a connection. Definitely. Look at them. They are so cute. You are never alone. This is very much like lover, best friend vibes. 
Definitely love her best friend vibes. Okay, Leo, that is your reading. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment. If it does, I will see you guys next week.